lives. But we can also be thankful and joyful that God has her in His presence. And God is saying, when well, I'm in the fire, I'm on my turn now. I want her in my presence now. And we can all be thankful that he and Ruby are laughing together, smiling together. He is hearing from her and she is hearing from him. So remember this, even though it's a sad day, it is also a day to smile and be joyful that she is in a better place. And one day, all of you who are in Christ, when you die in Christ, you will see her again. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will have the opening prayer of Pastor Dane. We praise the Lord. 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 We praise the Lord.
Amen. We'll have our second item by Brother Delroy Johnson.
again. All those who die in Christ, my brethren, we will all see them again when we die in Christ. The good news of the gospel is that when those who have been forgiven of their sins die in Christ, we are all in heaven and we see our loved ones again along with being in the presence of God. Amen. We will now have our third item by Sister Norma Stewart.
we'll have our fourth item by Altamon White. Yeah. 
Almighty God. I place them in your hand. Cover me underneath your wings, Father Jesus. Let your blood flow through his body. Let your blood flow through his body, Almighty God. Thank you. 
with the vice of the archangel, and with the thrones of God, and the dead Christ shall rise first. When we which, which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we live, so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. That's in the portion of God's holy word. Thanks be to God. A very amazing passage for our time is this. As it rightly says, Paul doesn't want anyone of his brethren to be unaware about those who have fallen asleep. And he does not want them to have no hope as the rest of the world does. Amazing passage because those who are unsaved, those who are outside of Christ, Paul is saying under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that they have no hope after they die. And those who die in their life have no hope. But brethren, today, we all have hope. All of us who are in Christ. And our sister, Young, has hope as well. For she is in the presence of God. Amen. 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 We will now have the remembrance by Sister Joy Young. In, in 
Fidel Fatima, the minded, kind, responsible, a friend, a storyteller, a sharp one. Who can say, who can get away with anything? Mm -mm. A sharp mouth who can get away with saying anything she please. A source of wisdom, a confidence, a, and someone who will give it to you straight. She loved beyond fault to a fault. Grandmother, wonderful mother with a lot of patience. Your love is the thread that ties our family together. To the world, you may be a person. But to me, you are the world. Grandma, your wisdom and kindness will always be a part of my life. Thank you. She didn't sound nervous to me. <laughs> Our second tribute, brethren, will be done by the sister, Helen Young. Praise God, Pastor. Praise God, brethren and sisters. Amen. Father, Father Jesus, today is Ruby, and we are happy for Ruby is the Thanksgiving for God. Amen. Amen. But what I want to say about Ruby, it is 13 of us, our mom have, and that Ruby is the third year for mom. And my dad, Ruby is the first year for dad. And I am the last one. When, when I go by Ruby, Ruby always describes my ears. My sister, what is your name? I say, little thing. He said, my name is Big Miss. It's a reason why dad give you name little thing. And me name Big Miss. So when the pastor when you take over. I said, I said, sis, I will take over. But to meet you in the promised land. And I know I will be here. So I'm waiting. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let you live to see them more. And then my sister Delva and Leone, the three of them are so sick, but I put them in the hands of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. 
she realized that there was more for her. She started a new relationship with Leonard Hines. From this union came one child. This union didn't last forever, so she had her voice still not failed, so she continued her, her pursuit of love and happiness. Ruby subsequently met Wilfred Stewart. They fell in love and started an intimate relationship which produced eight children. Ruby, in her younger years, also cared for her younger siblings while her parents migrated to England for a while. In order to care for her family and siblings, she had to work part-time jobs such as such as planting cane, farming, street sweeping, domestic work, and others. She worked very hard to support her family. Ruby was not only devoted to her family, but she worshipped at the Asculate Seventh-day Adventist. She loved to sing and pray. On her journey of life, there were many trials and temptations, but she never gave up on her journey. Sometimes, even when sickness took, took toll on her life, she would seek help at Asculate Clinic. After her birthday in April, she complained about the pain she felt in her body. She was taken to the Noel Moms Hospital for treatment on April the 16th, and the Lord decided to call her home. Ruby will be deeply missed, but her memories and name will live on. She is survived by five sons, Herbert, Llewellyn, Westport, Roberts, and Ricky, three daughters, Lorna, Hilary, Norma, four sisters, Michael, Delva, Leonie, and Ellen, 30 grandchildren, 37 great-grandchildren, one great-great-grandchild, and other family and friends. Ruby has lived a full life. She has left a legacy for us all to follow. The word of God says, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Eternal rest granted unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May her soul rest in peace, sleep on, and to obey. Sleep on. Thank you.
say goodbye or farewell to a loved one. But it gives some sense of relief knowing that you will have a chance to see that person again in the sweet by and by. Amen? And as we do this song, we trust and hope that the family will find some comfort knowing she's resting in the arms of Jesus. Amen? I once heard a story of a sainted old mother who lived out her life here on earth. As she laid on her deathbed, her friends gathered around her, and these were the last words she said. Oh, look, what a training for a veteran. Oh, look, what a leaving.
my son Philip Danny, and the keyboards, and all the members of Christ, I greet you well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, I always love to see persons smiling or laughing. I love to see the joy on people's faces. So wherever I go to do anything, I always try to start with a little gesture. And this one I love. Three ministers went fishing, right? And uh, they on board, not too far away from the land, it was a Baptist minister, yes. an Adventist minister, and uh, what we regularly call a Pentecostal minister. Right, so while they were there fishing, the Baptist minister said, I'm thirsty, I need something to drink. So he got out of the boat, he walked on the water, go to the land to this water stand and you get one, walk up on the water, get into the boat. This dear minister said, wow, that's awesome. How do you do that? No time after the Pentecostal minister said he's thirsty and he got out of the boat, walk on the water, go to this water stand, drink this water, walk up on the water, get one. The other man said, well, how do you do that? That's awesome. How do you guys do that? He said, you know what? I'm thirsty as well. So he got out of the boat and he stepped out and he sank. <laughs> they arrested him, bring him back into the boat. The Baptist minister said, you have to know where the rocks are. So they were actually walking on the water. They know where the rocks are from the boat to the land. What I'm saying, in this life, we all must know God for ourselves.
Hallelujah. When we get there, what a blessed thing. But at the end of First Thessalonians, Paul said something. He said, comfort one another with these words. So even though we are mourning, we are comforting the others that are still here. That needs comforting. You see, the young man comes here, whatever is happening in his heart and his mind, he needs comfort. Sometimes we are lacking where this is concerned in the church. We can stand around here and we can preach and we can tell that Jesus saves, he keeps and he satisfies. But what are we doing to those that he died for? What are we doing to encourage those that are broken, that is within the body of Christ? We just come and we talk, 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 and we do nothing. Oh my God, we need to get on board and to study the scriptures and act accordingly. James said that the brother or the sister comes to you and said, I'm cold and hungry. And you tell them, go in peace. You do nothing. If I just pray for you when you're hungry and cold, whatever time, you're still hungry and cold. But if I go in my cupboard and I know it's the last prayer for me, I'm a tree picking them and she grabbed me, I'm going to give it to you because I'm trusting in God. Because He sent you. Jesus said, we must entertain strangers because we will entertain angels when we are not aware that they are angels. So the church, we are falling short where this is concerned. We preach a lot, we sing a lot, we show them. as others who have no hope. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I, I, I try to get the meaning of the biblical word for hope. Hallelujah. It's the Greek word. Oh my God. And it's wonderful. The Greek word said, Elpis. E-L-P-I-S. Right. Elpis. Right? And it means, from this concordia, it means the same thing. Expectation, confidence. Right? All these things. So, an anticipation. So, we have an expectation. We are anticipating that Christ is coming back. You ever watch the boxers? One boxer stands before the other, one in job. Next one, do like this. And he said, Why? Because he was expecting him to do that. So, he knew. It's a charity, it's a 
nilipotua kwa usiku kwa sababu tiko hapo ni shafani kesho no why that's something i know but i know to you know what i'm talking about what is what have to learn to speak in one way amen because that's what the word of god requires he said you must speak to the one because when i have more than one that's that don't you and it's also sin against your own body Well, we as black men, we take care of one woman. I don't even talk about Paul to get rich. We see more women, like look in a church. If you say, stand up, you have more women than men, don't you? If you don't marry a woman, a woman is like a funeral right now. You look like a funeral wife. But what love is keep your eyes on Jesus. To live as a child of God is a choice that we make every day. Paul said, we have to die a daily death. It's not like in the 80s, brother, I don't know how it's going on. All the women, young and old, we're a long dress together. When they come to church, they ain't go up. You can't see past the next, and then cut up with the rest. Now look around you. You see clean, it's more than say anything else. It's hard for men to live because of it. You have to rule the fight in the flesh. Why you think the Bible says women must dress modest? Keep them things from moving around and not come at church. Come on them. Your legs. You see, certain years after the Bible, men still see the catch feet. People are not past certain things. Some man just see the chest. And that's how you turn on. Some man just see the uh, little past the knee. That's your turn on. Some man in lower back. Different years. And this is the way this girl is dressing to come to church. And you can't walk.
as we learned for three years plus, still never fully believed. Because on the morning that he rose from the dead, disciples went to the tomb. After the instructions, we go to Galilee. So we are going to the Hebrew, we are preaching about that. We study the Greek, we study the Hebrew, so we can tell the truth of God's word. And when you hear, still do as you please. The go and you see the, the sign says, at the pool there, no diving. But because you don't jump from the pool, you still dive. And if you bruise the fork, like right? our, our brother, we went out one time, and he died in the pool, and he squirt locks. And when he got up, he had about two of his locks in his hand. He scraped his head. The sign says, no diving. You still dive. No trespassing, you see a fish shark. Thou shalt not commit adultery, pastor, and I say, my wife and family can't make a happy person. But there's an eye that sees everything. You can't get away. And record is dead. You have a real revelation in the books. Will be open. And another book will be open. And if your name is not for written in the book of life, then you will be cast into the lake of fire. It's no joke. It's not a fear tale. This is the word of God. And this is why we live the way we live. We decide to suffer for Christ because in the end, we will rejoice. Hallelujah. You see in the last night of the very song that we sing, and I will turn back the mic to the moderator because we don't want to keep you long because the rain will be falling very soon. That her hand was so feeble and her voice was so low, but she still had a smile on her face. She said, I hear singing, and they are waiting for me. Then she looked toward heaven and said,
in full control, Lord and Father. Bless everything that is said and done. Guide us on our journey as we journey to where we shall lay our path to rest. Take full control, Lord and God. Lead and direct our path. These are not the mercies I ask. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, these are the instructions for the final segment of the service. The song is not going to be over, but we'll close with the hymn where the whole is called of Yonder. We'll sing the first verse of the chorus, and then the second verse will all stand. The members of the church will go first. The casket will follow them, and immediately after the casket, the family members will follow and then the rest of the congregation. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound in time shall be no more And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair When the saved and earth shall gather over on the other shore And the Lord is called up yonder abbey there
guys, so I'm going to try to carry it you want see, you know. But I'm doing it different still here. Video man, why are you moving? I'm going to pan pasta.
second verse then they will lower the casket we'll continue to end the song and then we'll commit somebody shall we gather at the river where bright ages feet are on
us, O oh God, as we go on from today, we serve you in spirit and in truth. We give you thanks for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. For as much. For as much as it had pleased Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of this world unto Himself the soul of our deceased sister Ruby, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Amen. Yes, we would gather at the river, the beautiful, beautiful river. Gather with the saints at the river, that goes by the throne of God. Sing it one more time. Yes, we would gather at the river, oh, the beautiful, beautiful river.
já move fast. I give you a little more minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 